Hi, this is tutorial 5 case problem 2. The first thing we had to do was create a documentation sheet in which we had to enter the author date and purpose. So I already did that. Then in, ex in the expenditure sheet we have to create a table. So we go to insert and then table. And then we have to rename the table as checkbook. Then we have to replace the code form in each record with payroll. So we have to replace everything that's under the category and not under the pay as fuller farm equip equipment. So in home, we go to find and select, then replace, and then we click options and we make sure that we match entire cell content. So we have to find farm and then replace it with Paywall. So we're going to find all, make sure that they all match, and they do, and then replace all and close. In step 5, we have to make a copy of the expenditures sheet. So hold down the control key and drag it over, and then rename this Q5. And then they ask us, they ask us to sort the table by category and then payee and then date paid. So in data, click sort and then the first level is going to be category. It has to be in ascending order, A to Z. Then add a label, uh, another level. This is going to be payee, also ascending. And the last level is going to be date paid and they want it from newest to oldest. And then just click OK. For step 6, we have to create another, another copy of the expenditures, so same like we did before. Rename this as Q6, and then we have to display all expenditures for equipment and repairs in December, so under category. We're going to deselect everything and we only want equipment and repairs. And then they also only want the ones for December. Also, we have to sort by amount, smallest to largest. So click the arrow and then smallest to largest. Make another copy of the expenditures, name this Q7, and then we have to filter the checkbook table to display all checks that include the word vet in the payee's name. So under payee, click the arrow, and then we are going to filter by text and typing vet. Then we also have to add a total for the amount. So under table design, total row, and to make the amount show, we're going to click the arrow and we're going to sum everything. In step 8, we have to apply conditional formatting to all the outstanding checks. So again, we're going to make another copy of the expenditure sheet, we name it Q8, and then we have to select the entire column. And then use conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, text that contains yes. And then we need yellow fill with dark yellow text. For step 9, we have to add subtotal command to display a total amount for each category. So we're going to make another copy. We name it Q9, and then in order to add subtotals, because right now we can't, we have to convert the table to a range. So under Table Tools Design, Convert to Range, and then click Yes. So now we can go into Data, click Subtotal, and they want 
the total amount uh, for each category. So let it change in category, use function, they want the sum for the amount. Now we have to create a pivot table. So in expenditures, in insert pivot table, and then it's going to be in a new worksheet. You have to move it over and rename it Q21011. And the pivot table should be summarizing expenditures by category and month. So category and they paid and we also have to add the amount but now we have to change the date so that it's only sorted by month so right click and then group by month we also have to format the table so I'm going to select the entire range that contains values then right click format cells and i'm going to go under currency and make sure i have the dollar sign to decimals and then click ok but now there is not enough room so i'm going to make these cells a little bigger so everything shows up now we have to add a pivot chart so go under options then click pivot chart and they want a cluster column so that's the first one and click OK the last thing we have to do is create a pivot table like the one in the textbook so in expenditure we're going to insert another pivot table move the sheet over and rename it Q12 and the pivot table has category in the rows and then the amount and the other thing is percentage of total amount so we're going to have to drag the amount over one more time so we have two of them we have to rename them and then this one is PCT of total and to make this into percentages we go in show value as, as and percentage of grand total we have to format this so again select it all right click format cells currency dollar symbol to decimals and then we have to sort the total amount column in this descending order so select it all and then they want C to A and that is the end of this tutorial